Friends and family say Yusef Hawkins could light up a room. He was likable and friendly, but that was all taken away nearly 32 years ago when he was murdered. Now Verona Place will also be known as Yusef Kareem Hawkins Way. The street sign unveiled in front of loved ones this afternoon, which coincides with his birthday. On August 23, 1989, Hawkins and three friends who were also black went to the mostly white neighborhood of Bensonhurst to look at a used car that was for sale. 30 white men armed with at least one gun, bats and golf clubs chased the 16 year old and his friends, surrounding them when Hawkins was shot twice in the chest. Following the killing, racial tensions flared, with demonstrators, including Reverend Al Sharpton, being confronted by Bensonhurst residents while marching in the neighborhood. The HBO documentary Storm Over Brooklyn, released last year, brought the story to recent generations. While this doesn't bring her son back, his mother says it's heartwarming to know his memory will live on forever. I'm crying because I'm overwhelmed and I'm happy. And made his, and his name finally got up on the street side. And I'm thankful for it. No bad feelings because I want everybody to be happy, smiling. Today is my brother's birthday. Yes. So we 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 going to keep the smiles on today. More than just an icon, he was a bright young man with limitless, limitless potential. Some saw him, unfortunately, because of the color of his skin, as less than human. Councilmember Robert Cornegie and others pushed for this street co-naming. Four men were convicted in Hawkins' death, with the gunman up for parole in 2022. In Bed-Stuy, Katie Vasquez, News 12.